In this case, we've got a lookup function, and this lookup function um, has an error. It's a non-applicable error, which in my mind actually isn't a proper error. It means that um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with the formula or the function, just like with the average. It's the data. <clears throat> and in this case, it can't find a match for the exam result. So if you look at the uh, pass marks over here, there isn't anything lower than 35, so there's no 22 to cover it, uh, so it's not applicable. But if I was to print this off and show this to somebody, they'd look and go, wait a sec, that's a valid grade. So what I want to do instead is have um, a grade put in there automatically. So if it's not on the pass mark list, maybe it's either empty or it's a reset. So in this case, I'm going to have an, uh, the word reset. So just like I did with one of my last examples, I'm actually going to copy, actually I'm going to cut this one, cut the calculation, and I'm going to start with my if. So I'm saying if there, um, there's a non-applicable non error, so I use my drop down, I'm in my logical test, I use my drop down, it's none of these, so I go into my more functions and I find my is functions. I've got is blank, is error, is error, is even, there it is, is na, checks whether a value is non-applicable, and it returns true or false. Click on OK. Now I paste my calculation. As with other nesting, I don't click on the OK because that closes the whole thing and it says you're not finished with your if and all this, that, and the other. So I can click on my if here. And so I don't forget, I'm going to go right to my false and paste my calculation there because if it, there is no error, I want it to perform the lookup. Then I go into my value if true. And this is where I put what I want. And do you remember what I said I wanted? Reset. So I put the word reset in. And if I wanted blank, two quotes. And it says what the result for the first one is. It's going to be a B because the logical test is false. There is no non-applicable error. And so it jumps right to the false. So I click on OK. And now I'm just going to copy it down. Don't worry about the green little mark in the top corner. And um, it now says reset instead of non-applicable. So it's quite a good one to, to have because that's a little bit more attractive. Even though there wasn't really an error, it was not applicable, uh, it makes the, the spreadsheet look more professional.